Hi, I'm Henry Pollock and I'm in seventh grade. In January, I started the adventure of folding a thousand origami cranes. So far, I've made about 900, so I'm almost there. A Japanese legend says that once you fold a thousand origami cranes, you can have a wish. I haven't decided what I should wish for yet, but I'm sure that it's going to be exciting. Every day since the beginning of the year, when I come home from school, I fold three origami cranes. My favorite color of origami paper to fold is definitely that pinkish peach color. I bought a pack of a thousand origami pieces of paper, but I haven't used it all up yet. I also like to use some of my special paper, like my kaleidoscope and rainbow pattern paper. I also enjoy creating origami cranes because it's a great way to decorate my room. Right now, the wall next to my bed is covered with origami cranes. Folding origami cranes is so much fun and it's something that keeps me busy and it's time consuming. I'm not sure what I'll do when I finish. Origami cranes are a bit difficult to make, but you really get the hang of it once you've made about a hundred. If you don't have any origami paper, you could buy some, or you can just cut some regular paper into a square. I love folding origami cranes, and I hope that you'll try it too. On November 11th of 2022, I folded the 1,000th origami crane. I wanted it to be perfect, so I took extra time making sure all the folds were precise. I used a white piece of paper so it would really stand out. Once I finished folding it, I placed it on the ceiling in the middle of all the origami curtains. I was a little sad I had completed the 1,000 cranes, but after folding so many, I was kind of ready to be done. Even though I finished the 1,000 origami cranes, I still fold a few every now and then. I hope you decide to try something fun like this. It feels very accomplished when you're done. I hope you enjoyed learning how to fold an origami crane. Bye!